welcome back to another video of festivity. I hope you're feeling good, happy, warm, snuggled up in a duvet if it is cold outside. That is what I will be doing probably after this video. If you have been an avid watcher of the channel since we started the videos of festivity back in 2019, my gosh, that was nearly five years ago, you will recall we tried to make a Christmas cracker. It didn't work. I think one paper should be enough is kind of tape that rope. Shoot. I've not thought about this at all. I've just thought like as you pull this, what if the explosion of the party popper shoots the chocolate everywhere? I guess I just kind of now want this to work. I don't know that it will. Oh, oh, hang on. What a genius idea. I think that's worked. Ooh, that's a cool idea. I'm gonna make an adjustable Christmas hat so that whomever you are, whoever has to wear it, you can make it to the size you need it to be. Put a tiny little bit of tape on here, and then I'm going to get my pen and write. That was my part before. Didn't really go to plan. So this year, I thought we would do a revisitation as we have done in some years previous with past projects that we have tried for the video festivity to see if we can do it better. And this time we have an actual kit that comes with jokes, tying ribbons, tissue paper hats, crackers with two designs, glue in cracker snaps. There are the exploding thingies you need. I got ID'd buying this. I am 27 years old and I got ID'd buying this. There is some firepower in here. So hopefully it's not too difficult. The instructions are four part. Doesn't look too hard. Can I get it wrong? Probably. Oh God, they're literally there. We can read all the cracker jokes. Wow, okay, this is actually an efficient kit. I am thus far impressed. Look, it's also eco-friendly. So it's good for the environment. One thing you don't get is cracker toys. I should have bought some cracker toys to put in these, shouldn't I? So, it comes with everything you need, really. These are intense uh, cracker... cracker slips. Because not only do they have jokes, they have trivia, and they have the charades as well. These are these are your high class, top calibre of, uh, of jokes. I'm actually gonna check we have everything that should be in the pack, because that is quite easy for things to fall out. One. Oh. Firepower! I'm kind of upset, I kind of wanted them to be... I have to attach them, but I suppose it's saving me a job. It's a nice little pack, it's a nice little kit. If you fancy making your own, like I said, you do have to get your own little toys if you want it to have toys. But I think this only cost me like... Ooh, I should know the answer to that question. I'm going to say... Seven. Pounds! And by the power of editing, there will have been a number there. This should be easy, this should be simple. We have everything we need. It says, place cracker face down, add hat, love the job, roll it. There you go, add a, add a special gift to the open end of the cracker. This is gonna be so easy. There's absolutely no way I can get this wrong. It's easy, you go, obey. Orange, of course. Pop that there, take a joke, pop that there. Do a twist. Seemingly the most complicated part of this whole process. Which way? This way? Should I fold the cracker joke? Normally the, the joke is folded in the hat, no? For space convenience, we shall fold the joke. Let's try it again with the roll, which is seeming to be the most complicated part of this process. No, I'm not, no, I refuse to be stumped by this part. What is going on? The easiest thing in the world. Aha, I've understood now. There is a locking mechanism to the slide, you see. So the, the bit that goes in is actually bigger than the hole at the end. So you have to kind of go in at an angle and then slide. Oh, she's cooking with gas now. And then, I'll last it. Yes, so I just guess we smush, right? Yeah, it's how we supplied ribbon. These are kind of boring, but here we are. These are my supplied ribbon. Waste well, not, want not. Oh, good, I got two. So that just kind of wraps around here. And then we just 
tight, super tight. I'm going to go for a, a double tie. I can go tighter than that. Oh. I am also going to double check the stuff is still in the cracker. Because knowing my luck, it's not. No, it is it's still in there. So you could, you could, you could put something else in there. Let me get some chocolate. I don't know if I have six. I think I have five. Two, three, four, five. I do I have five. I ate one too many. Uh, blanc. Get that down in there. Well, let's not put a cracker in the one I'll pop tonight then. And then everybody who then gets one of these gets a chocolate. Nah, chocolate. Aren't I nice giving away chocolate? Here's a, here's a question for you as we finish tying this cracker up. Are our thin calendar chocolates too small? Because I think they are. They're, they're not quite big enough to be more, like you, you eat it and you're like, oh yummy, that was nice. And then you're like, right, but I'm done now and I have no more. And I think by standard, this is too, too like, this is the size we're going for, advent calendar developers. Okay, I don't care if my advent calendar has to be bigger. I want more chocolate. There you go. That was that easy. No glue required. I have absolutely no idea how effective this will be. Hopefully quite. I'm just going to quickly whiz through and uh, make the rest of them and then we'll pull one and see, see what happens. Hopefully the cracker goes off and it's... it's and, and you know, it's, it's a pretty it's a pretty good... It's funny, you get the right stuff and it's actually quite easy to do. Who knew? Here are the six Christmas crackers we have made. Don't they look wonderful? I shouldn't have done that now. I can't, oh I can, because the one with a funny tag were all okay. I thought I'd completely mix them up and then couldn't remember which one didn't have the chocolate in it, because I did only have five of those. Very, very simple process to put together. Obviously, if you use something like this, you get everything you need and it's all shaped how it is supposed to be shaped and it, it does come together quite nicely. The one thing I would say about these ribbons, um, Bringing together the bits of the end, these, the ends, funny enough, uh, a little bit harder to do. I don't know if I was supposed to like squish them first and then tie them, but I was trying to use the tie to bring them together and I've got a few gappages. Don't know if that's what they would be like anyway or if I did something slightly wrong, but they are all enclosed. The other thing I would say is I'm not sure I could tie a ribbon or like a, a bow, sorry, with this um, what do they call them? Cracker ties? Tying ribbons. I wouldn't have thought I could make them into bows. Maybe if I'd have not double tied, maybe there was enough. I don't know. This is what I chose to do. Deal with it. This is what we've got. So we are going to have a look and see how one of these cracks open. Now, as I said, the other five have chocolate, but I only have five chocolates. So this one does not have a chocolate in it. I'm going to see how well they pull, how easily they pop. That one well. What the shit? Break the level is good! Woo! Okay, that was aggressive. I guess they are only supposed to break at the, well I suppose that's where crackers do break, don't they? That was damn hard! I don't know if it was angles. I don't actually know what happened to the flash either. You'll have a, you'll have a replay because I can do that. Editing! Ooh. Mm. We 
obviously get a lovely, I guess the hat is eco-friendly too, hats. Now let's have a look at the hat because, and I say this because I have quite a small head and usually Christmas cracker hats are way too big for me and I think this is going to be the same issue and then they end up just falling out on your head and you just don't look cool man, you don't look good, it doesn't work for me. So same problem applies but it feels quite sturdy I guess, it's not ripped as I've, I mean if I tug it enough it will, it's, it's just tissue paper but it feels quite, it feels quite sturdy, definitely wouldn't break if I pulled on it a bit too aggressively, I mean they're quite, no they're not thick tight, I just look, even, even that, even just trying to pull this, oh, maybe, Maybe it was me. Shall we read a joke? You might have already seen it. I don't know how much you can see from the above camera. Also, we have an above camera. We're stepping up in the in the circuit of the world world. Now, <coughs> what do you call a little lobster who won't share his Christmas presents? I'll give you a minute. That's right, shellfish. <laughs> Christmas cracker jokes are so funny. Trivia, let's play some trivia, why not? Because I've got it all. Who is rumoured to have stolen Christmas? I'll give you five seconds on the board. If you got it, I don't want any conferring, no photo friends, you just gotta know. You ready? We're revealing the answer in five, four, I gave him more than three seconds, five seconds even, three, two, one. That's right, it was, it was the Grinch. It was the Grinch who, who stole Christmas. Apparently they were only rumoured to, although I feel he was pretty successful in his mission. He then just gave it back. And finally, I'm going to do a, who am I? This is not a charades. Oh, it's a 20 questions. Well, that's boring. Let's see if I can charades it. Why not? This will be fun. Okay. <clears throat> uh. I guess we could do this. <laughs> wow, playing shrouds on your own is really weird. Okay, uh... <laughs> I can use props, right? Oh my own, shut up, okay? what my charades was please help me out let me know down in the comments below I'd love to know if you can get it from that um hopefully you did I don't know how I would have charaded word three any other way and I also don't know how I would have charaded word one but I can give you word two if you know what that means if you're a charades aficionado aficionado yeah like myself you'll know what that means but there you go guys that was the I guess reviewing this kit um, they're pretty decent crackers. I think you can get something in this, quite a decent amount in this actually. If you think about um, the size of the chocolates that I put in, they were quite big and they have gone in and the whole cracker is enclosed. So you can get a few bits in there. I think it's quite nice to make your own crackers because then you have the option obviously of what to put in there and no one ends up with that stupid little magic, metal magic, magic trick that everyone plays with for about 10 seconds and goes, wow, this was a waste of my time, life and energy. Um, so I do like the idea of this. I don't know, obviously, you know, I don't think it's that expensive. I will have told you and will again put the uh, price up on the screen so you know how much that is. This is just one of many available cracker kits you can get also from the same brand, which is Hobbycraft. You could also get the separate elements so you could get the cracker paper, you could get the, um, the, the, the bangs. What even are these called? Cracker snaps, apparently. You can get a packet of those as well. You, I couldn't see that you could buy the hats and the jokes, but I guess, again, then you have the option to make your own. Obviously, this one wasn't as good as the one, these ones, sorry, aren't as good as the one I made a few years back. That one was so much better and definitely worked. And I definitely wasn't fearful that it was gonna go all over the floor with two dogs running around and chocolate available. It was fine, it was perfect. And if you are interested, that video is gonna be linked up here as well. If you're also interested, there's this video of festivity, this year's videos of festivity, but also all of the past ones we have done are available. So if you're not done with your hit of Christmas, Circuit the World Joy, sorry, festive Circuit the World Joy, 
festive. There's plenty for you to go and see on the channel and also keep an eye out as more videos will be coming as we get closer to Christmas. But that is gonna do it for us here. This really did fall apart, didn't it? Or, were there, or was that two? Then I had 13. That is gonna do it for us for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. A craft that did not go wrong, but trust me, there are plenty either been or on the way that will not have such positive results. So if you're interested in that, do hit subscribe, ring the bell, and you will be notified when the next video of festivity comes out. You better subscribe or Santa's not coming because that's not very nice. But for now, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's been absolute blast as always. If you enjoyed this video, go show the like button some good old fashioned love. And if you want to support the channel, go hit subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out next time upload a video. Stay awesome and I will see you all Concerned at how difficult I found that to pop on my own. Damn it, I go to the gym. I lift, man. I'm strong.